What's up, everybody? This is Roger Dale Martin of Vengeance. Grab your bass guitars. We're going to learn how to play the bass today, and we're going to learn how to work out our salvation. Woo! Everybody, I'm glad you got your bass guitars. Let's tune up. Here's an A flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. All right, folks. I want you to know right now that playing the bass is easy, but what's very, very difficult is being a musician. Woo, that's what's hard. Today we're going to learn how to play the bass. All right, pretty easy stuff. I like to use a pick. Some people like to use fingers, like that. Uh, take your pick. Uh, uh, I like a pick, so I can really, really go fast. But let's start off doing just the E note right here. This is neat. Pick that bad boy. Make a sound. Make a noise. Switch strings. Switch strings. Switch strings. Try to make it sound like this. All right, that's playing the bass. But let's learn how to play the bass. Let's get ourselves ready to play songs, okay? We want to use all four of these fingers, and we want to be uh, coordinated. In other words, we want to hit an A like we're going to hit an A note. We're going to press down, and we're going to pluck it. That's an A. If you go here, that's a G. F. And down to A. Right there. All right. The first exercise we're going to do is a fabulous exercise. It teaches you how to play the bass. Basically, we're using every finger that we have on every fret, like one, two, three, four. Go to the next string. One, two, three, four. Go to the next string. One, two, three, four. And go to the next string. One, two, three, four. Gonna end there. Bring it up a little bit, right there, and go back down. And up. Keep going up that bass guitar neck. And you can take this all the way up the neck. Once you get as far as you can go, then just go back down with it. And that's learning to play. But we need to learn how to play in time, okay? And that's where this metronome comes in. We're going to set this about 120 beats per minute, which sounds like this. If we play eighth notes, <laughs> now let's play quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Up. Fiddle around, you know, you can go faster. Okay, here's 120. 
Let's take it up to about 100 and, uh, I don't know what this is, 160. Bass. Now play these quarter notes. look at a spiritual application of working out. Um, in the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 12, it says, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. And I look at that verse and go, work out my salvation with fear and trembling. Hmm. Does that mean that I can lose my salvation? I've got to work it out and somehow get it? No, 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 no. That's not what that means. It's just like working out your body. You have to have a body first before you can work out. You have to have salvation first before you can work out your salvation. That's what it means. And fear and trembling is like a great respect for God. And trembling is, could be, I want this bad, I want this bad, I want to work out my salvation. In other words, if your spiritual gift is giving, well then if you want to work it out today, Figure out how to give somebody something. If it's a gift of helps, well then help somebody today. You're working out your salvation. If it's the gift of encouragement, well then encourage somebody today. That's working out your salvation. We're going to end this thing doing our exercise. Are you ready? Start on the A note. Ready. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.